an image from the hot regions where the Russia-Ukraine war continues shocked. It was reported that an explosion occurred in the morning hours in the incident that took place on the Kerch Bridge in Crimea, which has great strategic importance. The Russian news agency reported that there was an explosion in a fuel tanker on the bridge. According to the information from Ukraine, it was reported that the bridge was hit by the army, and it was also stated that this was a start. It was also reported that Putin was also informed. While the war between Russia and Ukraine has been going on for months, a new and terrible development took place this morning. A big explosion occurred in the morning hours on the Crimean Bridge, which connects Crimea, annexed by Russia in 2014, to Russian territory and located in the Kerch Strait. Traffic flow was stopped on the strategically important 19-kilometer bridge, which was opened by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2018. A collapse occurred on the highway next to the railway line of the bridge. It was reported that the explosion was caused by a fire in one of the fuel-filled tanks on the railway, while the teams of the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Russia were responding to the flames. It was stated that an investigation was launched to determine whether the incident was an attack. According to the information and images on social media, it was claimed that the Ukrainian army hit the railway on the bridge and a part of it. According to the images obtained, serious damage occurred on the bridge. While the echoes of the explosion continued, the statement made by the Ukrainian presidential adviser gave goosebumps. Ukraine declared, the Crimean bridge explosion is the beginning. Everything illegal must be destroyed. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said in a statement about the explosion, the reports of the Ministry of Emergency Situations and the Ministry of Transport of Russia on the situation on the Crimean Bridge were presented to Russian President Vladimir Putin and Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin.